while browsing the internet, especially if you search in English for stories that happen to people who entered the dark web, you will find a lot of stories, some of which are strange stories, and other stories are really scary, and you do not know whether this story is true or false, and this video that will be the first part. I will tell you about the 8 most scary and mysterious stories that happened to people who entered the dark web. Let's start with the first story. This story is told by a user on Reddit named Militava and it is entitled The Dancing Corpse. From its title only you can imagine what I will tell you. Militava said in the story he published literally. A woman posted all these videos of her dance with this corpse. All the bodies were solid and overcrowded. She put strange music and danced around her and sang to her in her room. User Militava found the channel of one of those women on the site of the host of the video, and found videos of her dancing with a real human corpse. And there were a lot of videos. Apparently the body was not dead a short time ago. And it seems through the video also that it did not decompose. The user says that the worst thing was the way she sang cold. Her singing and dancing was gentle, calm and beautiful, like a demon in the form of an angel trying to seduce you with his tender voice. The second story. Drugs towards the neighbor's house. This story was published by user the Kins of Bananas, who told the story on behalf of his friend Eel. Wheel discovered the deep web when he was a teenager, he used it a lot and used it to enter many sites and try to explore them. One day Eel found a strange site. This site is an online store but it is not like other stores. That site and that store is called the Silk Road and it is known among people as one of the most famous dark websites for selling drugs and all kinds of contraband. Wheel decided to order some drugs from the site and paid him money and that person sent the drugs to a family hut, and after Eel went to the hut he did not find anything that the order did not arrive, he was very angry so Eel called directly to the merchant and the latter decided to send another shipment, and this does not usually happen in the deep web or dark web and again nothing arrived. Wheel called the dealer again for the third time, telling him that the drugs had not arrived, and Eel asked to send more and more and more. Shockingly, nothing was reaching the address even though the address is correct, and this is strange. Wheel did not know what exactly happened and did not know what disaster it caused until months later. One day a neighbor contacted him and they inquired about a parcel that arrives in large numbers to their house. They said that this parcel is a shipment of medicines, and they could not know its source, they could not know its source and who sends it, and why it is constantly sent to them. What happened was, that there was an error in the address where the merchant apparently misspelled the letters and numbers of the address, and instead of sending them home, he sent it to his neighbor's house, and what did he send him? Drug? The story is somewhat funny, but it is really very scary, and at the same time the story shows that even drug dealers in dark web and deep web have 5 star customer service, and after sales service, if the order does not arrive, they send another order with ease. The third story. By Bedbugs from Deep Web. A short story, but it is really strange and suspicious that proves to you that the deep web and the dark web are full of crazy people, when you know what is going on around the deep and the dark web, you will know that this type of stories and events are popular there, and some of them are more crazy and strange, which I will show you in the end. The important thing is that this story was posted by a user on Reddit. When this user was browsing some dark web he came across a strange man on the net. This man was not trying to buy a tank, a firearm, even copies of a forbidden book, drugs, or even a human organ but his thinking was uniquely demonic. The man wanted to buy large quantities of an insect. And exactly from bed bugs. Yes this very small insect that lives in the mattress of the house. This crazy man wanted to try to experiment with their upbringing and reproduction to resist the normal methods of killing them. 
resistance to medicines and traditional methods of killing them, but at the same time his plan was to make bugs breed in a weak point that only he knows, it is just like making a lock and the key is only with you, or making a bomb that no one knows how to neutralize except you. The plan of this crazy man was to spread these insects and release them in people's homes, and then force them to pay large sums of money to him, in order to rid them of them. The Fourth Story This story is titled A Service That Is Not Like Other Services. The author of this story is a Reddit user. This user posted the story when he was trying to access the dark web exactly where hackers of all kinds gather. This user entered that site to learn piracy in good faith, and he believed that the best place to learn or the place where hackers meet is the dark web. This user encountered a lot of ordinary social engineering, such as stealing information, ID card, passports, and credit cards, but he also encountered a hacker who was using his talent to offer something unique. This thing made him known in the deep web and was able to attract attention. This anonymous hacker was advertising a service through which a person could pay for a sex video. He was asking for a certain type of illegal, immoral, and illegal videos, and then uploading them to someone else's computer using a dangerous hacking program called Kernel. Now continue with me the madness and the most strange part, after the hacker uploads the video to that person's computer. He immediately informs the police about his whereabouts, which the police are supposed to arrest after they examine his computer and find that illegal and immoral video. A genius and satanic way to raise any outlaw, whether a criminal, rapist or thief, without the need for any gun, knife, break-in or fight. The Fifth Story Selling a Tool for Cutting the Genitals This story is as puzzling as it is disgusting, this story was posted by a Reddit user named Boasty Christensen, who literally said that the penis cutting tool on the illegal Silk Road website, whose owner was arrested a few years ago, looked like a set of strange dentist tools, hooks and some tube tools, which he was selling for $20. This home surgery kit was listed for sale in a semi-public market for only $20, simply that means you can buy the tool for perform surgery for yourself at home without anesthesia. The terrifying thing is that there are those who buy these tools, and the ones who buy them the most are the hired killers, as well as the kidnappers who kidnap people all over the world and cut them to pieces and sell their organs on the black market, because these criminals use these professional medical tools to keep the organs healthy and not to be damaged. Sometimes the kidnapped person is not killed, but he is drugged and the abdomen is opened. Then the organ is stolen and left lying in the street. Then the person wakes up from the anesthesia suddenly in the middle of the street he discovers that his kidney or genitals have been stolen. What if you can now buy a nuclear bomb? Wait for the second part of the stories from the deep web. The second part will be more scary and mysterious so do not forget to watch the video.